So how do you find the area of a regular polygon given only the shapes apothem? In this example, we have a regular heptagon, a seven-sided polygon, and we're given that the apothem is equal to 13. So how can we solve for this shape's area? Well, in your math class, you've probably seen the formula area equals one-half times the apothem times the perimeter. So we need to find the perimeter of our shape before we can use this formula. How can we find the perimeter of our shape? Well, we're going to do it by using some trigonometry. We can draw in a line connecting our center to one of our vertices so that we can create a right triangle. Now, we want to find this piece of our right triangle. And this piece of our right triangle is what? Well, it's our side length divided by two. It's half the length of our side. And we know that because our apothem bisects our side length. So, in order to solve for S, what do we need to do? Well, we'll use trigonometry, but before we can do that, we need to know what the angle theta is. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, theta is equal to 360 degrees divided by two times n, where n is the number of sides in your regular polygon. So in this case, theta is equal to 360 degrees divided by 14, as two times seven is 14. How do we know that theta is equal to 360 over two times the number of sides? Well, it's because if we draw in a line connecting our center to each of our vertices, we will cut our regular polygon up into a bunch of congruent triangles. The number of congruent triangles we get is equal to the number of sides in our regular polygon. And then we divide by this extra two because our apothem cuts our congruent triangle in half. Therefore, theta is going to be equal to 360 degrees divided by two times the number of sides. Okay, so we now know why theta is equal to this. Here, let's shrink this down and make room for the rest of our problem. So again, we want to find what our side length is. And we're going to do that using trigonometry. So think back to SOHCAHTOA. Which one of our trig functions are we going to use? If you said tangent, give yourself a pat on the back because that is exactly right. Because in terms of theta, we are searching for our side length, which is opposite theta. And we are given our apothem, which is adjacent to theta. We know that tangent of theta is equal to the opposite side, s over two, over our adjacent side, our apothem. And so the length of our side is going to be equal to our apothem times our tangent. This will equal our side length divided by two. And so then we can just multiply both sides by two to have two a, two times our apothem, times the tangent of theta is equal to our side length. Now we have enough information to solve for the area of our regular polygon. Here, let me shrink this up just a tiny bit more. Okay. So we have our side length, and so to find our perimeter, we can simply multiply our side length by the number of sides. We already know our apothem, and then we can multiply by one half. So the area of our regular polygon is again, it's one half times our apothem times our perimeter but what is the perimeter but your side length times the number of sides? 
And so we will multiply by S, which we found to be two times our apothem times the tangent of theta. And then of course, we'll multiply by N. So this is the full formula that we can now plug in our values into to solve for our area. And let's simplify it just a tiny bit more. We can see our area is equal to, well, 1 half times 2 will cancel out. And we have an A times an A, so that's an A squared. And then an N out here on the far right. So our area is going to be equal to our apothem squared times N. Remember that n is the number of sides in our regular polygon, times tangent of theta. So we can just use this formula when all we are given is the apothem, and we can have the area of our regular polygon. So let's use it now. Let's pull out our handy dandy calculator. We are told that our apothem is equal to 13. So, first of all, what is tangent of theta? So, theta was 360 divided by 14. So, let's apply the tangent function to this value. Now all we have to do is multiply by the number of sides, which was seven, and then multiply by our apothem squared. Our apothem was 13. So 13 times 13, and we get a value of 569.7.